Welcome guys. This is the second challenge of Access Filter Evasion series. Now, the earlier series challenge was of stage 1. I've shown it already. If you haven't seen that, you just can find the link below in the description. So let's begin by analyzing this stage or particular this case. It's all about cases. So now, what the challenge is that you need to inject alert um, inject any JavaScript and you need to just get alert uh, document or domain as an alert so uh, that you will be able to complete this challenge so now our concept is simple we will just try or begin with injecting a uh, simple JavaScript and check it out what other source of parameters is filtering out whether it's filtering or not but this time I'm trying blindly this is basic basic very basic one so you can see nothing nothing happened over here and uh, we can try other vectors like so just for checking purpose now you can see in the source code that none of the input what we have provided or we have injected has been get filtered out not even the quits not even the greater than sign small than sign not the parentheses etc so it's clear that we can generate it by simple script now again if you see that whatever we are injecting it has been getting filled into the value value and it is being surrounded with the quits now that's an easy case uh, what you need to do to bypass this you have to break the syntax or uh, break the statement because value equal to double quads and then basically actual thing whatever you are injecting it's been getting fed inside it and then actually a quit and then basically it's been get closed so all you need to do is to just if you are familiar with basic html to break out the syntax what you need to do you just need to put this and the quit now again if we type document dot domain now if we search and you can see that we have successfully bypassed it now what is happening actually let's look around the source code and now after putting this one what we have did basically we have bypassed or we have just closed the syntax and after that we have injected our code and this is been getting successfully residing into our, the HTML of the page so that's how you can bypass this particular case if any of the value has been getting inserted into um, a value field so you just need to put this syntax and uh, you will easily be able to bypass the challenge so that's all for now thank you for watching guys keep on like subscribe and sharing it catch you on next tutorial thank you